style and accessories. For the most part, things that help us to feel and look good. But do you realize how it affects economics? Hello and welcome to Stylish Grease Monkey. I'm Chris Stone and I make videos of men's style and grooming at least twice a week. Thank you to my returning friends and I appreciate your support. For those of you that are new to my channel, check it out. And don't forget to support my growing channel by subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Public Senate reports by February of 2019 that consumers spent nearly $300 billion on apparel and footwear in 2017. Let that sink in for a minute. Fashion is a highly sophisticated process and rakes in a whopping $2.5 trillion per year as a global industry. This encompasses everything from textile and apparel brand to wholesalers, importers, and retailers. In the United States, the fashion industry employs more than 1.8 million people. Well, that was before the pandemic. Statistical data relies on long-term data, so we will more than likely not realize the ramifications of the pandemic to this industry until a year or more down the road. I love the fashion and apparel industry because I am a stylist, but have not realized the enormous impact of this industry to the world's economy until now. Two countries have the largest impact on the world's apparel market in terms of revenue, and that is the United States and China. According to Statistica, it was estimated in 2017 that apparel market grew by approximately 5.46% from 2016. Not surprisingly, further growth was forecasted for the 2018 and 2019 years with a peak growth rate of around 6.2% expected by 2020. So what is driving this growth? Access to apparels are even easier in today's technological advancements. Many shoppers order goods online using their phones even before they get out of bed. Anywhere and at any time, shoppers can shop. The speed of delivery and easier return policies have also contributed to this gain. Are malls going to close soon? The pandemic that's happened in 2020 might just drive the closure of physical establishments. One of the largest and most recognizable apparel brands worldwide, H&M, held the third largest market share within the global apparel and footwear market, with a share of 1.4% in 2017. That doesn't seem much especially considering that the apparel and footwear market is quite a fragmented market due to its highly competitive and saturated nature. 1.4% in that market shares translates to billions of dollars a year for that company. In 2017 alone, the global apparel and footwear market had a staggering retail sales of around 1.7 trillion US dollars. Of the top three most valuable apparel brand in the world, Adidas was valued at approximately 17 billion US dollars in 2019. The other most valuable apparel brand that are recognized worldwide are Nike and Zara and contributed very extensively to the global retail market. Some companies combine retail, manufacturing and design and rake in even more financial success. Examples of these companies are TJX companies and Inditex, whose brands include Zara and Bershka. Inditex sales are approximately 29 billion US dollars in 2017. In 2018, household consumption expenditure on clothing and footwear in Europe, specifically in the United Kingdom, totaled to approximately 76.3 million euros. Continued growth is expected globally as style, accessories, and apparel will remain highly sought for and competitive. Having speedy access to the information as well as satisfaction is here 
and it will not go away anytime soon. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it. I welcome comments as well as recommendations, so please don't forget to write it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and until next time.